When beauty and brains collide, I am your untenable result. A glorious morning to everyone, my dear friends, teachers, commentators, bashers, and beloved supporters. I am a transgender woman who conquered everything despite of my gender identity. I am a trans beauty queen icon in the Philippines. I am a teacher a part-time model, a choreographer, and a reigning queen. One of my hardest decisions in life is to show to other people about my gender identity, despite of those criticisms that we are facing today. But because of my faith and strong determination, I always believe that someday, somehow, we transgender women will be no longer begged for respect that we are looking for right now. Growing up, I had two dreams in life, to be a girl and to be a teacher. It wasn't really easy to achieve, especially for someone like me who grew up in a conservative, Adventist, Catholic, and Muslim family and community. I believe social discrimination towards LGBT community is everywhere. Always remember that being a part of LGBT is not a curse that should be ashamed of. Instead, it is a blessing that should be shared too. To the members of the LGBT community who needs to hear this right now, to tell you honestly, our sexual orientation, identification, and expressions are not mental disorder. We are not a disease that needs to be cured, nor a mistake that needs to be corrected. The stigma, the stereotypes imposed by the society, the gender-based discrimination, the hatred, and the violence are the problems. According to Congresswoman Geraldine Roman, the Soji Equality Bill aims to protect the civil rights of every Filipino, including the most vulnerable groups in our society, women, and the LGBT community. Once the bill becomes law, all of us can work, study, socialize, and avail of public services without fear of being discriminated against due to our gender. This is why it is very important for the Philippine Senate to pass this bill. It is not a same-sex marriage bill, but a bill that guarantees protection from gender-based discrimination. And it is also a bill that protects all of us, regardless of our sexual orientation or gender identity. The Soji Equality Bill will help gender-based discrimination in the workplace, in business, in social establishments, and in availing of government services. And it will protect all Filipinas from being denied access to public establishments. And also it will prevent all Filipinas from being denied jobs or health services due to their gender identity. And will protect all Filipinas from being expelled from school due to their gender identity. The Philippine Constitution protects the dignity and human rights of every individual. Every person should be free from any form of discrimination and must be treated equally before the law. And I fully respect those who support the Soj Bill with the real belief that they propose law would prevent or minimize discrimination against all persons regardless of sexual orientations. This bill is with all other laws must be judged based on consistent and variable truth and not just based on subjective personal stance and emotions. I advise those who are quick to share posts in the social media calling the oppositions to the bill as homophobic and bigots. To hold your judgments, I am for healthy exchange of thoughts and opinions.